Light is the key to a good photo or good video, especially when it comes to the mighty popular action camera market with small sensors. Although users of small action cameras don't have to worry about carrying large video lights, enter a new solution, with the ability to put lights in places you never could before with various mounting options. The Loom Cube. Originally a Kickstarter campaign where it became massively popular, the Loom Cube is a small 1.5 by 1.5 inch LED that boasts an impressive 1500 lumens output and Bluetooth technology, but its real trick is that it acts as both a continuous video light or a flash or strobe, potentially making it the perfect accessory for a huge range of scenarios. Not only is the unit completely water resistant, it's small and versatile enough to mount in the tightest of spaces. The Loom Cube comes in a variety of packages, as well as this basic package with the Loom Cube itself on clear display at the top, a USB charging cable, and a quick start guide. Although not the cheapest of lights out there, a single unit will set you back around $80. I can see why the cost is so high though, this thing is seriously solid. With an overall metallic construction and measuring in at around 1.5 inches on all sides, the Loom Cube is small, light, yet built like a tank. The 1500 lumens LED at the front produces a 6000K colour temperature. This thing is seriously bright, so bright in fact that it even comes with a warning in the box, so it's best operated with the LED facing away from you. Talking of operating the unit alongside a company logo, we find two rubber coated buttons at the top, one being for video mode while the other for strobing. On the bottom of the Loom Cube we have a standard quarter inch 20 thread which makes mounting to any standard light stand, tripod head or accessory arm incredibly easy. Finally, the back of the unit features a screw out stopper that covers and protects the Loom Cube's micro USB port which is used for charging the unit's internal battery. That battery takes around 90 minutes to fully charge and provides around 20 minutes at continuous use on full power, or up to 2 hours at 50% power, which is rather respectable considering the amount of light this thing produces. As stated, the Loom Cube has two buttons that control all aspects of the light. One turns on the video light, which starts at the lowest setting, and has a further 10 settings to cycle through before reaching the very highest mode, which is seriously bright. The opposite button can also be pressed once to turn off the video light regardless of intensity setting, although a 3 second press activates the optical sensor. This enables the Loom Cube to detect additional light sources and fire simultaneously. Great for photography. The unit also incorporates Bluetooth, meaning with the Loom Cube app, freely available on iOS and Android platforms, we can control the Loom Cube at a distance. You don't even need to connect via the Bluetooth settings on your device. Simply head into the app and a solid bolt icon means the cube is instantly connected and ready to use. Here we are able to set the Loom Cube's brightness as well as tinker with some other basic options. There is a Pro app as well which you will need to pay for but has some additional options. Nevertheless the app can be used to simultaneously control up to 5 separate Loom Cubes, meaning you could potentially place 5 units around a subject and fill the area with light. At the bottom we have options to toggle between photo and video modes. When capturing video the app will automatically light the cube in video mode, under the chosen brightness ensuring your subject is lit for optimal video capture quality. In photo mode the cube acts like a camera flash, lighting the subject long enough for the shot to be taken. We even have a red eye reduction mode which will produce a few strobing flashes before the main flash, reducing that awful red eye that can ruin some portraits. There's a little more to the app, but with several units all working in unison, hidden in the tightest of places, it could make for a rather elaborate lighting setup without much fuss at all. And when it comes to using the Loom Cube, the results are seriously impressive. The light is thrown across a wide range and it's pretty even across the range too. For a unit so small, it's mighty impressive. Upon cycling through to the higher intensity settings, the difference speaks for itself. Recording with an iPhone 6s Plus in this example with no lighting whatsoever, this video is pretty much useless, it's far too dark to make anything out. Yet that same time of day, and under the same conditions with the Loom Cube on, the difference is fantastic. 
The cube does emit some heat, although it does contain a high-powered LED after all, so that's to be expected. An internal heat sensor will shut down the unit if it reaches its maximum heat though, in order to ensure that no internal or external damage occurs. When it comes to taking images, again the unit performs wonderfully well. I can certainly see how several of these units, all perfectly synchronised with each other, could produce some fantastic results that rival some professional level setups. Even with the one unit in these examples though, it's a serious improvement over the grainy, not lit alternative. Again the light is thrown across a large area, producing pretty evenly lit shots, although I can certainly see how additional units would produce even better results. As it stands though, I'm seriously impressed. All in all, the look, feel and construction of the Loom Cube is outstanding. It's a work of art. And there's no arguing that the light output is impressive. The Loom Cube app is also well designed and a joy to use. Battery life is good considering the amount of light this thing throws out, and the waterproof case is a nice bonus. The versatility of the Loom Cube makes it a seriously valuable accessory that you can throw into your camera bag without worry of any damage, and take out to mount in the tighter spaces as and when the need arises. Even if it's used alongside an action camera, it'll make a huge difference to the final video output. As a main video light, or a supplemental photography light, the Loom Cube has dozens of uses with smartphones, digital cameras and action cameras. At $80 it's well worth the cost, in fact I'd be tempted to go for one of the bundle packages. Either way it certainly worked its way into my camera setup and comes highly recommended. 